In this tutorial, we'll create a realistic 3D brick in Adobe Illustrator. Let's first create a new document. I'll go for a 1920 by 1080 resolution, but you can go for any resolution. There are so many types of bricks, but in this tutorial, we'll create something similar to this one. Okay, first select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle like this. Fill it with any color. Color doesn't matter right now. Now select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. I will change the fill color to something different so that we can see. Hold Alt or Option and drag to make two copies. Select them and click Horizontal Distribution Center for equal distance between them. Now select all shapes and go to Object and group them. There is a keyboard shortcut for that which is Ctrl Command and G. Now go to Effect, 3D and Materials, Extrude and Bevel. If you are using an older version of Illustrator, then you will find different settings. Just update your Illustrator and then you are good to go. These new 3D tools were introduced in Illustrator 2022. Okay, in 3D type, select Inflate. From Rotation, select Isometric Top. Okay, now we are gonna change the Depth and Volume. Depth is, well, the Depth. And the Volume is like Bump. Just play with the sliders and see what looks best. Now we will go to the Materials option. You will see a lot of material assets, but I wanna select the cardboard paper. Don't hesitate to play with the other assets. It's fun, you know. At the bottom, you will find more options to fine tune the textures. You can change the color, roughness, luminosity, contrast, and many more. By the way, if you want to change the depth or volume, we can do that anytime. Just go to Object. Here, all these sliders are at the table. Now go to Lighting. Here, also, you will find a lot of options. What I like to do here is turn on the shadows. Right now the shadow is cut off here, so increase the shadow bounds. Now we can play with these sliders. You can change the rotation, height and many more. Once everything is done, we can turn on the ray tracing for better result. Now it looks more realistic, the shadow looks much better now. Now go to FX and select document raster FX settings. From here, select 300 ppi. These settings are heavy for your computer, so I suggest you to do this at the end. This makes the object much sharper. Now go to Object, Expand Appearance. When you expand it, the 3D options will no longer be at the table. But since it's a heavy object, you need to expand it to move it smoothly or make it smaller or bigger. So this is how you can create realistic 3D brick in Adobe Illustrator. You can follow these same steps and create different shapes of bricks. If you want to learn how to draw a Japanese doll or 15 must know tools in Adobe Illustrator then watch these videos and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.